mount for a GoPro camera, which doesn't come with it, you have to buy it separately. Uh, you have LED land landing lights, so you know your orientation of your quadcopter as you're flying it. And basically here you have your battery uh, compartment, which basically can take uh, an 11.1, 2,200, 2,250 uh, uh, mA LiPo battery in it, and you know, you'll get about, about seven minutes of flight time. So basically what we'll do is we'll calibrate the quadcopter before flying. So basically we're gonna bind it to our Devo 7, so We'll connect the power connectors on, and we'll turn out turn out our transmitter to, to bind to the quadcopter. And basically, uh, it's a Deepo Seven. And uh, uh, be before we calibrate, uh, what we have to do is we have to make sure the quadcopter is in lock mode. So basically, uh, there's two green LEDs on the on the quadcopter. Uh, the right hand side is for the uh, number of satellites that this quadcopter has linked to and basically uh, it's based on how many blinks you have it looks like it's blinking about five times which means that uh, there's, uh, it, this, this quadcopter has acquired at least five of the 22 low level orbiting satellites for GPS mode so that's, that's actually very good and then on this side this LED is not lit up which means the quadcopter is locked so if I move my throttle stick up on the transmitter stick the quadcopter won't move because it's in lock mode, so we have to unlock it. But before we even fly the quadcopter, you have to basically calibrate the quadcopter. So we'll show you how to do that. And basically, it's putting your throttle stick all the way up and moving it to the left. And also, we'll move the uh, cyclic stick down. And basically, what will happen is you'll see the LED on this side start to blink really fast. Okay, so that you have 30 seconds to calibrate your quadcopter. So basically what we do is we take up the quadcopter up, we flip it around this way once, we flip it around again, and then we flip it this way, and we flip it again this way, and then we turn it this way, and then we turn it again, and then we put it down onto the ground. So basically that's calibrating. And basically what's going to happen within 30 seconds or less, this LED will stop forcing stop blinking and be towed uh, off. So basically, the quadcopter is now calibrated and bind it to the transmitter. So basically now we're gonna put the transmitter stick down and in order to unlock the quadcopter and start flying, basically on the transmitter stick, when we move the transmitter stick uh, on the bottom to the left, the LED light will be green, which means it's unlocked. So now we can fly the quadcopter once we uh, throttle stick up. All right, so basically this, this particular quadcopter, because it's GPS enabled, has a, a, a three basic features, uh, or flying features, and it's controlled by the mix, the three-way mix switch that's on the Devo 7. And basically uh, the zero position, which is at the top, is manual mode, which means basically, folks, we can fly the quadcopter free, free play any way you want it. Now, if we move the mix switch to the second position, which is the middle stick of this switch, that's called the hold position and basically uh, if the helicopter is uh, flying at a certain level and I want the helicopter, the quadcopter, um, excuse me folks, the quadcopter to uh, hover stably, I move my uh, three-way switch to the middle to the hold position and basically the quadcopter will stay in that position uh, based off the GPS. And then of course the last function is the switch all the way down uh, which will be basically the go to home function. So basically what that means is wherever the quadcopter is flying at the moment, if I switch all the way down on the mix switch, basically the quadcopter will fly back to this particular position and land by itself and basically plus or minus, let's say about five feet because, you know, depending on how you calibrate your quadcopter and the GPS, you know, it'll land basically in the same spot, which is a pretty good feature. Okay, folks, basically we're going to go over the, the free fly first, and then we'll do the hold position, and then go to home. So we're going to give it a test flight. Right now, we're using free fly. Okay, here we go, folks. And because it's uh, a totally brushless quadcopter, uh, you got plenty of power to uh, lift, so we're going to go up. That's a lot of power, folks, and basically if you have a GoPro camera, you can definitely map it on this uh, quadcopter. 
Um, okay, so basically now uh, we have the quadcopter in a, in a hovering position, so we're going to flip the switch to hover. So we just moved it to a position number two on the, the transmitter, so you can see the quadcopter is in the hovering mode. So I'm going to go out there and, and kind of move the quadcopter to a different position, and you'll see that it uh, will get back to So that's a really nice feature, folks. Uh, I'll do it one more time and push it up. So it's pretty cool that the whole position, pretty much uh, based off the GPS, uh, the quadcopter will stay in that particular position. Now folks, keep in mind that on a really, really windy day, uh, the quadcopter will of course have difficulty uh, trying to hold in that particular position, but uh, it will do its best if it can, but of course on a windy day, it's going to be really tough. So, you know, if you have a little wind, it's good to, it's good to use this particular function. Okay, now the last function is basically switching all the way down, which is the go to home. So we're going to switch that and watch the quadcopter come back and land. Okay folks, here we go.